In this video we're going to look at optical character recognition with Python and we're going to look at reading in text from an image. Now that is in essence the definition of optical character recognition which is also called OCR. It allows us to read text from images into our applications. Now you can get the files that we're working with in this video from this GitHub repository here. We use this in the text analytics and natural language video but in this video we're going to look at an image and it's the John Glenn JPEG image. This is a resignation letter that was sent by the MP John John Glenn to Boris Johnson. Now I've already cloned this into my local directory so we have access to that image here. This is the image containing the text. The goal in this video is to read this text into our application using Python. Now you can imagine where this might be useful if you have a lot of images with text. You want to automate the process of reading those into your applications and your databases. This is where optical character recognition is an important technology. Now what we're going to do in this video is use a tool called Tesseract. Now the details are on this notebook which you can find on the GitHub repository. But to perform this optical character recognition we need to install Tesseract on our machine. Now there's a link here that gives us a GitHub repository. And if we follow this link we'll be taken to this page here that gives us instructions on how to install Tesseract on Windows. And there are a couple of installers here. I've went with the 64-bit one and I've already downloaded and installed that onto my machine. If you're following along with this video, do the same and you need to note where you have installed it on your system. So if we go back to the notebook, I've taken this screenshot here. Now when you run the installer, you get an option about where to install the executable. The default location is under the C drive on Windows in a directory called Tesseract OCR. And if we go to that directory on my machine, it's this one here and it contains a lot of files, but the important file for us is this one here. This is the Tesseract executable, and that's what we're gonna reference in just a second when we run this application. So make sure you've installed this on your machine and you know the location of the installation. Now, once you've done that, we can use the Python wrapper for Tesseract, and that's something called PyTesseract. This is a library that you can install with pip or conda, and it allows you to interact with this Tesseract OCR engine through a very simple Python interface. So to install that, you can go to this link here if you're using Anaconda. It's a conda install command, and and the name of the library is PyTesseract. Now I have already installed this, so I've got access to it, but if you don't, run the Anaconda prompt and run that command. And once you've done that, you're set up, you're ready to go with Tesseract and the Python wrapper, PyTesseract. We're now gonna read the image of John Glenn's resignation letter into our application, and we're gonna analyze the text in that letter. Now, because we're extracting text from an image, we need to use the Pillow library in Python. Pillow is a library for interacting with images in Python. So what I'm gonna do is from the Pill library, we'll import the image object. And this image object is the central object in the Pillow library. So we're gonna use that to read in John Glenn's letter. So let's now read that image into a variable called image and we'll use the pillow image.open method to do that. And that takes the path to the image that we're going to open and in this case it's the John Glenn.jpg image and we can then view that image below here. So this is the image that contains the resignation letter. We want to read this text into the application using PyTesseract. Now, if you ran the conda install pytesseract command, you will now have access to this wrapper for Python that interacts with the OCR engine Tesseract. What we're going to do now is import pytesseract and we're going to work with that to read the text. So in this cell here, we're going to import pytesseract and once we've imported that, we can then use this library to read the text from the image. Now, before we do that, remember earlier on, we had to take note of where the Tesseract engine was installed, where that executable file is installed on your system. We need to tell PyTesseract where that is. So I'm gonna paste this line of code in here. What we're doing is we're setting the path to the Tesseract executable. And remember that lived in the program files, Tesseract OCR directory, and the actual file that contains the executable is the Tesseract.executable file. So we tell PyTesseract here what the Tesseract command is by setting this here. Once we've done that, PyTesseract knows where it can actually interact with Tesseract and we can now read the text from the image. So let's see how to do that. Now let's set up a variable called text here and we're going to invoke a function in the PyTesseract module and it's called image to string. And this function takes a pillow image and remember we got that image object up here. So we pass that to the image to string function and it's as easy as that. Once we've done that, 
we can read the text from the image and as you can see we now have the text in our Jupyter notebook from this letter. Now the first line of the letter as you can see here it says after much thought and with deep regret and then it follows that up with some other platitudes. What we now see down below is we get that actually in our application and it's correctly read that text. Now I don't think it's completely accurate all the way through but the majority of this text is accurately being read by PyTesseract into the notebook. Now once we have the text we can then do the normal text analysis and NLP stuff that we did in a previous video. So what I'm going to do is import Spacey and load the English core small model and then we can create a document by passing the text that we extracted from the image to the NLP language model and we get back the document here and that's a Spacey document object. We can then do things that we've already seen such as getting the entities from this letter such as the Treasury, the City of London, the European Union and some place names at the bottom as well. So what we've done is we've used OCR and PyTesseract to extract the text from an image and once we have that text in our application we can do anything we want with that text. We can find the named entities in this case, we can split it into sentences, we can perform sentiment analysis, we could do document summarization and we could store this data in a database. There's all sorts of things we can do, this is just the kind of gist of this. The main takeaway from this video is how we can use Tesseract and PyTesseract to read text from an image into our applications and this process is called optical character recognition. So PyTesseract is very simple. We set a path to the Tesseract executable and then we have a function called image to string which we pass a pillow image object and that will extract the text from that image and store it in our application. So that's all for this video. We've learned how to do basic optical character recognition with Python and with Tesseract. If you're interested in more topics like this and maybe even in the context of Django and fast API applications, let me know. I'm happy to make more videos on this topic. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.